It's hosted the X Factor, the Mother Home Show and even the Mirkan's Wedding. Today at Event City, the Tattoo Tea Party. A meeting point for tattoo lovers from all over the UK and Ireland and more than 150 of finest skin artists. Every tattoo is special. It's always special for that person getting it done. And you've got to make it a special thing for them. You've got to make that whole experience like good rather than going somewhere and being treated like muck and not being happy. It's one of them crazy, crazy things that you can't explain to anybody else until you've had it done. Cheryl first got tattooed at the age of 18. Twelve years later, there is almost no space left for anything else. It's just like sort of expressing yourself and it's like there's stories of my life all over me. Uh, I don't know why I need to get a tattoo to remember stuff or to represent stuff, but it just seems to help and it's helped my confidence, strangely enough, as well. There are so many things to enjoy at the two party today. People can compete on the boxing ring over there, join an illusion show or drive a car like me. Woo! Tattoos go back further than you might think. In many years ago, particularly in Victorian times, tattoos were unusual. You only saw perhaps a sailor with the odd tattoos. So seeing a tattooed man, people like the great Omi, who were tattooed from head to foot, was extremely unusual. And like other freaks, they were self-made freaks, but like freaks of nature, dwarves, giants, deformed people, put themselves on show and charge money for the public to come in and see them. Since then, people have become so obsessed with tattoos that now every fifth person in the UK has at least one of these body art illusions. For Keys TV News, Emilia Mincheva.